Sowing seed directly into the garden successfully is all about temperature and timing. You've got to make sure the soil's warm, there's plenty of moisture around, and then you've got to look after it for those first few days. I'm not always here on the perfect day to sow my seeds, so I want to make some set and forget sowing starters. This method was made famous by a Japanese no-till farmer and philosopher. So essentially he sowed his seeds on the surface of the soil. He developed a method where he coated all of his seeds in clay and that packed them up with what they needed to germinate instead of having to bury them. So seed balls, seed bombs, I think they look like a little scat, but it doesn't matter what you call them. Essentially it's just packing your seed up with what it needs to germinate. So I'm going to try a few different methods today. The first one is the simple one. I want to sow these artichoke seeds on the surface, aren't they gorgeous? And they're quite large seeds, but I'm actually going to coat them with clay. I'm using this, it's called potter's ball clay. It's a really common clay that people use. It's really fine and it's available dry and powdered. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that clay and add it to this pan. And then a little bit of moisture. A little bit more water. A little bit more clay. So all of these little individual seeds are just becoming clay balls. And this is actually a method they use commercially for growing lettuce. Those tiny little seed get coated in clay so that they can be individually sown and of course not waste any seed. I'm just going to let them dry out in this dish and then when I know the rains are coming I'll drop them on the ground and we'll see how they go. Now I'm going to make a slightly different seed ball. It's got some added nutrition and it's really good for those tiny seeds. I'm going to sow some cosmos. This is cosmos sulfurious, which is an orange cosmos. It was beautiful in my garden last year. It looks gorgeous and it's fantastic for attracting beneficials. The other seed here is a listen, tried and true, really good for bringing the beneficials in as well. I'm also going to do a few rocket balls. I want to do this because I like to sow rocket regularly every three or four weeks so then I can just drop a ball on those intervals and I'll make sure I've always got some to harvest. And the recipe is pretty simple. It's one part clay, one part compost and some seed. So I'm going to put a small amount. This is the ball clay again. Small amount of compost. I've sieved this so it's really, really fine as well. And then my seed. You just want to make sure you mix the seed in fairly evenly before it's time to add any water. You just want to add quite a small amount. The atomizer is great for this, so you don't overdo it because it'll get messy. And then just gently mix it before it comes together. So I'm just squeezing these little balls, not too hard because I don't want to break those long cosmos seed. Making them about, I don't know, two centimetres round and I'll pop them out to dry. The beauty of doing this is that once they're dry, they will stay pretty much dormant until you drop them on the ground and let them get wet. The last one I want to make is, of course, because I'm so stingy. I don't really want to buy anything, including clay. So I'm going to use my own black sticky pug. I've dried it out. I'll use an equal part of that, an equal part of the compost, mix that together. And then the rocket seed. Mix it together. I'm hoping it'll be just as sticky as that ball clay and have a similar amount of plasticity to form the ball. A good thing to do with kids, I imagine. Making little mud pies. And the best thing about these little beauties is that when they dry out, the seed will stay dormant as long as it's viable. So when you're ready to sow, you can just take it out, drop it on the ground and let nature take its course.